Hello friends, I am Dr. Lalit Kumar Gangele and I welcome you all to another video of mine which is a tutorial video on alopecia areata. What is alopecia areata? As you can see in this slide that this is what is known as the alopecia areata. Whenever a person loses the hair from the specific patch in the scalp, Hai na? or some part of the body it is, it is not important that it can only found in the skull it can also be found on the beard it can also be found on the mustache so alopecia areata is a localized loss of hair in the patches where there is the hair in the body that is it may occur on the scalp it may occur on the beard and it may occur on any place where there is the prevalence of hairs on the body. Now, what is the definition of this alopecia areata? So here, for those people who are not aware of with the uh, uh, word alopecia, I want to uh, tell them that alopecia means general hair falling. The alopecia is the term which is used for the generalized hair falling. Whenever a person is suffering from the hair falling, it can be regarded as the alopecia. Now, what is alopecia areata? Alopecia areata means rapid and complete loss of hair in one or most often several round or oval patches, usually on scalp, beard area, eyebrow, eyelashes and less commonly on the other hairy area of the body is known as the alopecia areata okay so i hope you are getting my point point regarding this that what is the alopecia areata now here we are going to discuss the types of alopecia hai na? no doubt the this video is about the alopecia areata but before that we have to discuss about the different type of alopecia which are found in the body. The first one is the plain alopecia. That means the general and normal hair falling. That is known as the alopecia. The second one is the alopecia areata, AA. Jo ki, uh, uh, the definition of which I had just told you. Okay. Then there is the another type of alopecia which is known as the alopecia totalis. So here the totalis reveals that whenever a person had the hair loss completely on the head that is known as the alopecia totalis. These people losses their hair from their head, their beard, their moustache, their eyebrows. So they do not have any single hair on their head. So the total loss of hair from the head is known as the alopecia totalis. Now, the third term is the alopecia universalis. What is it? Universalis. So, you can, most of you can understand that the alopecia universalis means total loss of hair from the entire body. The patient of alopecia universalis do not have any hair on the any part of the body. They lost the axillary hair, chest hair, pubic hair, hairs on the hands and feet, hairs on the head and hairs on the everywhere. One small form of alopecia areata type is which found on the beard is known as the alopecia barbei. What is alopecia barbei? This is known as the loss of hair in the small patch from the beard. Most of the you who are right now in the practice have seen these types of the cases when the patient came with a small hairless patch in their beard. Here are the some uh, uh, definitions of all this. The alopecia totalis means total loss of hair from the head including the beard, eyebrow and head. Alopecia areata, I had already told you that alopecia areata is an autoimmune condition which causes patchy hair loss. It can result in the single bald patch or extensive patchy hair loss. And what is alopecia universalis? Total loss of hair from the whole body. Okay, including the head, pelvis, beard, eyebrow and else part of the body is known as the 
alopecia universalis so till now we had uh, learned about the alopecia and the different type of alopecia including the alopecia areata so in this slide we are going to have some examples of alopecia areata this we can see the alopecia areata of head once another uh, alopecia areata of head this is the very good example of the alopecia areata in the beard this is also the example of the beard and these two once again are the example of the alopecia areata on the head now let's have some examples of alopecia totalis what is alopecia totalis this slide is very important which i am going to discuss with you in the next coming part of the video before that we had to understand that this is what is known as the alopecia totalis if you can see this person he has lost his hair from his head he has lost his hair from his eyebrow on the mustache on the beard so this is what is known as the alopecia totalis means total loss of hair from the head only okay for head only if it happens only in the head then only it is known as the alopecia totalis now here is the example of the alopecia universalis you can see that this person has lost his hair from the each and every part of the body he do not have the chest hair he do not have the axillary hairs he do not have hairs on the head he do not have the eyebrows he do not have the mustache he do not have the beard so this is the very good example of alopecia universalis ab as i ab, here here is a very important uh, thing about the alopecia and sign and symptom hai na Uh, uh as you can see the types of the alopecia the area alopecia areata universalis and totalis which i had already told you symptoms what are the symptoms patchy or fir wide spread hair loss balding in the cases of alopecia especially the cases of the alopecia universalis and totalis there are some nails problems also hai na burning sensation and itching can also prevail on the patches where there is the loss of the hair what are the causes of alopecia areata what are the causes of alopecia there are certain medications hormonal changes aging hereditary hair care habits thyroid disease and many underlying health disease health problem can create this type of the alopecia areata what are the risk factor associated with it family history age menopause stress and pregnancy and here this point of the treatment this indicates only the allopathic mode of treatment not the homeopathy one okay so here what they do in the allopathy they uh, inject some steroids under the skin hai na under the scalp over the counter medication prescription medication if the alopecia is caused due to certain type of the medication then they prescribe the counter medication to nullify its effect in some cases they use the corticosteroid and immunotherapy ultraviolet light treatment hair transplant and all these things but all these things as my experience since last 14 years the patient do not get any specific relief from the allopathic treatment especially in the case of the alopecia areata okay so let's jump on to the another slide facts on the alopecia totalis and it can also be considered for the alopecia areata there is the prevalence of the thought among these patient that they are they are incurable so first of all it is a type of autoimmune disease where the immune system attacks the hair follicle this is the first fact regarding the alopecia disease especially alopecia areata the follicles are not destroyed in the alopecia totalis thus there is the possibility of the regrowth of hair that means the follicles are not completely destroyed uh, due to the disease so there is the possibility that the the hair can regrowth alopecia can affect any age group including the children in my practice i had seen the alopecia ranging from the patient a girl from 7 years to the person of the 65 year it can occur in any age in any sex it do not have any specific incidence or prevalence regarding the age and sex 
there are no specific uh, specific symptom other than the excessive hair loss and eventual development of the bald patches so these are the fact some facts regarding the alopecia okay now uh, as uh, in the previous slide uh, i told you about this picture that nobody has the alopecia totalis or alopecia universalis at once well, there is no possibility that one some morning you rise from the bed from your sleep and you found that you do not have any hair on your head are you getting my point any extensive alopecia like totalis or universalis only starts with the alopecia areata the person first of all have a very small single patch of the hair falling or alopecia areata then after some month he will found that that uh, page is uh, increasing in the diameter and at the same time he found at an another page in, in here so starts from the complete head then this patient of the alopecia areata develops or evolves into the alopecia totalis and when this alopecia totalis increases with the time or get worse with the time then the patient becomes the patient of alopecia universalis so i hoping you are getting my point that means the alopecia totalis and universalis has their initiation and it starts only from the very small spot somewhere on the body especially the scalp and with the, that disease when that disease expands over the period of time then the patient of alopecia areata ultimately turns into the alopecia of totalis uh, or universalis okay now this is the evolution of disease which i was just telling you that first of all there will be the alopecia matlab there will be the general hair falling from the hair okay then uh, over the period of time the person will came to know that he has a spot on his head in where there is no hair then this alopecia turns into the alopecia areata okay then over the period of time if this disease do not get cure and the hair falling was continuously in the existence then this patient loses the complete hair from his head especially or maybe from his beard then he becomes the patient of alopecia totalis and ultimately if this disease do not get stopped at this point then this person is going to be the patient of un alopecia universalis in the forthcoming time next coming time okay so from here i just want to demonstrate that the as per the homeopathic treatment the treatment and medicines for all these things will be the same because the person who is right now the patient of alopecia universalis came here only through the alopecia areata because alopecia areata was the first symptom which should be addressed in this patient at that time and at that time there were no treatment done on him and so today he is at the stage of alopecia universalis so in all type the all these type of alopecia the treatment will be the same okay now next uh, without wasting any time and we want to keep this video short the homeopathic treatment of alopecia areata here are the three medicine the first one is the acid floricum or floric acid 30 the second one is the phosphorus 30 and the third one is the sepia 30 i challenge you i had cured the, at least the 50 to 70 cases of severe alopecia areata only with these medicines if you are patient you are my patient viewer then you can take these medicine without consideration of anything you will get the result and if you are a doctor and you are practicing then you can prescribe these medicine to your patient and i guarantee and assure you that you will get the consolidated result but you have to keep one thing in your mind keep the treatment of alopecia areata and the diseases above it that is totalis and universalis should run for the years and month 
then you will get very consolidated and exponential results regarding this so friends that is all for today if you like the video then please subscribe my channel and share my video and tell me in the comment section that on what topic in the future you need some video or you need to know any knowledge about the specific topic that is all for the today we'll meet you in the next video very soon thank you